You're comfortable under my seat, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, shit. Okay, little doggy. Let me go ahead and put you down now. <clears throat> hey, everybody. I am 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to review Thor. Thor is basically about him getting his powers taken away to learn his lesson, how to deal with life in Asgard, interact with humans. That's really as simple as I'm gonna go to describe this film. I know some people don't enjoy this movie, but I also know there are other people that do enjoy this movie. So this movie is actually a mixed bag. Some dig it, some don't. And me personally, I didn't quite dig it. It's not a terrible film. It is a fun film at times. It just could have been a whole lot better. Chris Hemsworth as Thor. Holy shit. This guy nails his role so well. You actually see Thor on the screen. Natalie Portman. Oh gosh, Natalie Portman. Why are you so beautiful? She does a good job here as well. Not only because she's a beautiful actress, but she really is talented. I really love Natalie Portman. Anthony Hopkins was awesome here. Edris Elba was really good here. Tom Hiddleston as Loki. Fucking awesome here. I mean, come on. And then the actors who play all of Thor's friends, they did a really good job. Kat Dennings, <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother story. Kat Dennings was one of my issues with this film, most definitely. I thought she was so annoying. The humor did not mesh. Oh, a positive is that there is actually some very funny humor in this movie. It has a very good sense of humor. But whenever Kat Dennings tries to add a joke or tries to be funny, it just becomes a huge miss. And you just want her to just shut up because she is not funny. And I actually question, what's the point of Kat Dennings being in this film? She's given nothing to do. She's just basically there to be the comic relief, but she is not comical at all. One of my issues with Thor, though, is how boring it was. Like, the first 40 minutes when Thor is in Asgard, the film was awesome. I was sucked into the film. All the action sequences that are going on, all the Thor stuff, it was so badass. I was really enjoying the movie, and it was like, yes, yes, this is the movie I wanted. But then, once Thor gets his powers taken away, and he gets sent down to Earth, the movie goes downhill from there. And I mean, the movie is not terrible, even when he was in Earth. There are interesting elements, one of them being that the film actually does have some good sense of humor. And when the humor is a huge miss, it is just from Cat Dennings. But minus Cat Dennings' humor, the humor in this film, for the most part, is actually very funny. There was also a huge lack of action. But it's not just the huge lack of action that bugs me. This film did not feel like a Thor film. Like, it feels like a Thor film for the first 40 minutes, and then Thor's not back to Thor until the final 15 minutes of the movie, so you don't get a whole lot of Thor. It's a, it's just the guy on Earth trying to learn his lesson, trying to blend with the humans, and yeah, that was interesting. I was somewhat intrigued and interested in that aspect, and I gotta give some kind of credit to the writers for doing that. Nothing really goes on for the majority of the movie. Like, you're trying to wait for something to happen, but nothing really happens. Nothing really intrigues you. And I don't like this film much because of the lack of action. It's all about the story, and the story, to me, it just wasn't that good. I know it's an origin movie, but come on, at least spice it up for an origin movie. Look at Iron Man. Iron Man was a really good origin movie. Captain America was a really good origin movie. That's just my opinion, of course. You guys might have a different opinion from mine. But I just wish Thor was like up to level with those two films that I just finished mentioning. The action sequences, most definitely, they look breathtaking. They are amazing. They are beautiful, visually stunning. Too bad. The majority of the movie was missing that magic because, like I said, it just did not feel like a Thor film for the majority of the freaking movie. The soundtrack to Thor, oh my gosh, it is amazing. I love the soundtrack. 
Even though I don't like the movie that much, the soundtrack, wow. It is epic, it is intense, it just gives you so many chills. When Thor is back to Thor in the final 15 minutes, it's really awesome, it's really well done, and it made me really enjoy the movie again. I really, really, really enjoyed the first 40 minutes of the film, and I really, really enjoyed the final 15 minutes of the film. The first 40 minutes and the last 15 minutes was something I wanted the majority of the film to have and it was just missing that Thor magic. I do expect improvement from Thor The Dark World and I'm sure it's going to improve over this film. I'm really excited to see Thor The Dark World. I'm really excited to tell you guys my thoughts on Thor The Dark World. I am going to give Thor 2 out of 4 stars. That is the same rating I gave Iron Man 2 and I know that's a lot of people's least favorite phase one movie. I didn't like Iron Man 2 that much and I didn't like Thor that much. If I had to pick between which one I think is a tad better, I gotta say Thor because even though Thor did lack a lot of action, it still had more action than what Iron Man 2 had. So Iron Man 2 does still remain my least favorite of phase one. But Thor Definitely my second least favorite. Two out of four stars for Thor. It just could have been much, much better. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am trying to try to do something that I always have. Talk power!